One of the other qualities we attempt to put a measurement on is flexibility. We know that flexibility is very specific to all the joints in the body, but the three we measure are going to be demonstrated by uh, an excellent intermediate hurdler, uh, Tammy at the end. Uh, what you'll see here is a measurement of flexibility of the trunk forward and also raising up in hyperextension and also flexibility of the shoulders. All right, Tammy, if you put your hands on the board, which we find that right at the end of the foot is zero, what we try to do is get the athlete gradually work it out until they're as far forward as they can, normally in the ranges of five to six uh, inches beyond their toes. All right, Tammy, go ahead. Well, in this case, you see it's an excellent flexibility of the trunk, which is about eight inches of uh, flexion beyond her toes. All right, the second measure of flexibility we mentioned is back hyperextension. What we need to do first is measure the distance from the hip to the shoulder, which gives us the trunk length, because we use this as a reference measure. And then the measurement is taken from the ground to where the uh, sternum hits the clavicle, and we get a distance measurement there in inches. And then we determine a percent. Now, normally the percent is, for us, about 48% of the trunk length, but we see a tremendous range from 22% to 100%. So Tammy will now extend up as far as she can. I'll measure, measure that distance, and you see right now we've got a distance of approximately, all right, Tammy, of about 16 inches, which puts her really above the 60% level. Now it's important we measured it without holding and withholding, and she improved considerably by having someone hold the feet down, which actually gives us a truer measure of the flexibility of the trunk and hyperextension. The third flexibility measurement we have is shoulder dislocation or so shoulder flexibility. You see measured on just a common stick, measurements from the center point on out. Here you see 12 inches, 15, and so on and so forth out to the end. Now all you need to do is grip the bar firmly with the same measurement on each side, and then just lift the uh, broomstick right directly over the head dislocating and bring it right back and then gradually work it in to a level where you feel that you can make it. Now Tammy is exceptionally flexible in the shoulder girdle. An area for us is extremely important because the shoulder girdle is predominantly held together by you know just muscle tissue. So we want to have good flexibility and good strength in that area. Another important part of our testing program is a measure of body fat content. Here's George to demonstrate how that's done.